I'm about to drive the latest addition to the Aston Martin family. It costs £80,000 and they're calling it the most desirable sports car in the world. It takes 100 craftsmen 180 hours to build a V8 Vantage. The Vantage's trump card is exclusivity. There are plans to build just 3,000 a year. By comparison, Porsche make 10 times as many 911s. Add in a V8 that produces 380 bhp, which is more than a 911 Carrera S, and you can see why the waiting list is already more than two years long. The Vantage is a strict two-seater, although to improve luggage space, it has a hatchback. Inside, the stylish design continues with dials, dashboard and switch gear all borrowed from the more expensive DB9. But I was a little bit disappointed when I first fired up this 4.3 litre V8. Just burbled away like any old V8. When you're driving the car, you're, you're very aware of this huge dash panel in front of you. And in fact, manoeuvring around car parks at slow speeds, the visibility is a bit poor over this big front hump. And in a way, it makes you feel like you are in a great big Aston Martin. You never really appreciate that the car is quite small around you. And the steering, the clutch and the gear change are all on the meaty side as well. You certainly feel like you're in a fucker Aston. The best thing about this car is the way it just points. The steering turns, the car turns with you. Gear change good, none of these flappy panels. It's a proper car. Mind you, of course, that Aston Martin have done a lot of development of this car on racetracks. So, of course, it would be rude not to go and find a racetrack. Aston really has surprised me on this racetrack because it's just so neutral and controlled. It finds the apex, it's okay in the front just because she's a bit wide on turning because this car is still a heavy car, but it's not dramatic and there's no suddenness. There's a little twitches of oversteer, the high speed stuff, loads. There's just down his hair, been second gear, turn, floor. It's a glorious oversteer, but so beautifully controlled. In fact, this has to be the best Aston I've ever driven on a track.